Hey guys, so it's your girl, Sam G Beauty. So this is more like a fashion haul type of thing. And basically, I went to Bloomingdale's because I wanted to get some shoes. So there was a sale going on and such and such and such. This is a very, very short video, so I'm just gonna roll through with it real quick. For those of you that are new subscribers, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to. I usually do more of beauty shopping but and beauty tutorials, but lately I've been kind of going into handbags lately. Nothing really crazy. Um, I've been getting into brand designers a little bit more. So if you do like that part, um, definitely hit the subscribe button. I will be putting out a lot of new content within the next few weeks. So hopefully I'll have time for all of that. Um, and for those of you returning, welcome back. This is not a beauty video, but I definitely will do a beauty video very, very soon. Anyways, I wanted to talk about Bloomingdale's, so I'm going to post like a little mini video of, you know, what we did and what uh, and whatnot. But yeah, so we went in mostly because I went to the Saks Fifth Avenue in the city and I was trying to buy a gift for my mom. They weren't very nice there and... I told her, I was like, don't even bother to try on any more shoes. We're just going to go to Bloomingdale's. I did, I do have a vlog on that and that was in my last vlog um, for Saks Fifth Avenue. I did end up buying three things, which was a bag and lipsticks collection of Bond Number no. 9 and a Hermes cologne for my father. So if you want to look at that video, go ahead to my channel and you'll see the fashion hauls or vlog shopping videos so anyways this was back so these videos are going to be a span from events that happen in from i would say from like june july mostly um there was a lot of discounts going on and we said what the heck let's take advantage especially after my birthday in june 29th so I took advantage of a couple things here and there, but now the shopping is gonna kind of pause on a little bit, but I do have a lot of content that I need to kind of get rid of, so keep watching, enough of me blabbering, let's get into it. So I ended up getting the Sam Aldeman sandals at Bloomingdale's. I did get a pair of black and a metallic silver to match with my Valentino bag, and I got a six a size six and a half which I was very surprised so these are them and I'm gonna show you how they look on me and yeah they're pretty cute you know if you want to go out and have fun with these you know on a normal day and just kind of paint so this is how they look like I think they're super adorable and I'm going to show you right here how I look in them. I did get a pair for my brother's, well, I didn't, but my father <laughs> got the same pair of these in the black for my brother's girlfriend, which was very sweet for her birthday. And moving on, I don't have them on me right now because she's actually out and about and wearing them. So I can't even show them to you guys. But these are the Salvatore Ferragamo shoes, which I'm going to put right here. These shoes, um, basically I got them because she'd been wanting a pair of flats for a long time so that she could work in for a certain amount of hours in. And also to match her Salvatore Ferragamo um, wallet on chain bag. Well, small uh, SLG, I should say. And excuse my messy hair today I'm not like in video glam <laughs> but I did wanted to push this video out so I hope you guys enjoy it but this is the Salvatore Ferragamo shoes I'm gonna put it right here everything that I got I'm gonna link it down below 
we were in there for quite a while. We tried a couple of shoes and there was just a bunch that I didn't like so I ended up getting those Sam Elderman shoes and they're actually quite comfortable. They're very cushiony and kind of cloud feel like. Um, the Salvatore Ferragamo's, obviously the leather is very good. Uh, it does take a little, it is more of a soft leather so to break into them is not too bad. And yeah, so we ended up getting these and this is how it looks on her. And I happen, there goes the dogs again. I happen to love them on her, so I'm really happy I ended up getting her that as a gift um, because she's going to wear them every day. So that's a pretty awesome feeling when you get something for your mother that she actually wears. Usually she returns my stuff, but this time she doesn't. <laughs> so that's that. And there's still some sales going on. There's a lot of good boots on sale so if you're looking to stock up on like winter fall stuff I would say go ahead give them a check out in Bloomingdale's there's some here of my favorites that I like and you could definitely um, pick up yours today um, for the most part the stores aren't crazy busy especially the department stores since COVID so I do like to support department stores like Lord & Taylor, Macy's, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Bloomingdale's. It's just something about buying clothes there and handbags and brand designers versus just buying it online. I feel like I go there because I want to get the help, the experience, and they treat you very well. Depending on which department store you go to, you'll have some essays that are great and some that are fabulous. It's just how it works. But I like to actually feel it, see it, and kind of get an idea whether I'm going to like it or not. And yeah, that's really it. So that's it for this video. It was pretty short. Um, my next video, I am going to talk about Saks Fifth Avenue and what I got from there lately. And it's going to be a little bit of a long video, but it's everything from shoes to clothing to um bags so not bags of multiple just one bag that i actually been wanting for a while and it finally went on sale so stay tuned